just beyond the reach of the best of the rest. Chased proudly and persistently, gamely, every step of the way. But Pep and City would just not be reeled in and feel his emotion. And on the final day, now, at last, they can let it... Congratulations, Ilka, you've done it, but have you done it in typical Manchester City style? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was an unbelievable game. Uh, I don't know what to say, to be honest. I don't even know what the Liverpool score was at the end. But, but yeah, uh, obviously, it's been fantastic. The last 15-20 uh, minutes scoring three goals, it's unbelievable. Liverpool won 3 one Just how nerve-wracking was that for you? And the City players today, 2-0 down. <clears throat> Honestly, <clears throat> I think um, we are all human beings and um, obviously after going 2-0 down, the chances were, were just <laughs> very, very small and obviously we knew that on the pitch. But um, I think um, we had to do the simple things again uh, in the best possible way. Um, and obviously scoring the two goals in just, I don't know, three minutes or four minutes um, and then having ten minutes to score a third one uh, gave us the right lift and um, yeah, um, scoring the third and then uh, finishing in that style, you know, keeping the ball uh, in that corner I think um, was very smart, very mature and um, yeah, we are, we are proud of ourselves today. Just how nerve-wracking was it? You're 2-0 down, you're thinking Liverpool are bound to win. You can almost feel the title slipping away. The tension in the ground was unbelievable. Did you feel it? I mean, um, probably it was, um, it was more a negative tension than a positive one, uh, especially after being 2-0 being down. So, um, yeah, but still uh, it was about um, getting, that, getting that goal and then we knew um, once the momentum is on our side that uh, we are able to score even, even three goals in just uh, a few minutes and uh, that's exactly what we did and uh, I think as, uh, as football fans uh, and we players, we are also fans at the end of the day, um, these are the days um, that you look back, uh, look back to and uh, yeah, it, it was an unbelievable one. What has it been like? It's almost impossible to take it in so quickly but you've slugged it out with Liverpool right to the very death of the season. It's an incredible competition between the pair of you. Yeah, I mean, I know it's uh, maybe tough to say but um, if Liverpool would not be de uh, there and uh, would not play the way they are playing uh, an incredible football um, and uh, very successful. I don't think um, that uh, this league could have been that at that attractive. So um, even though, again, they finished uh, just one point, uh, I think, behind us, I think they played an incredible season. And uh, I think we pushed each other uh, again to the, to the limits. And um, even though it's a sad day for them today, I think um, you need to appreciate what they've done. And uh, especially my former coach, I mean, uh, which, uh, which I still um, like a lot. Uh, congratulations to them as well. And um, we are looking forward to compete again with them next season. How much are you also looking forward to going and getting that trophy now in front of your own fans? <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking very much forward to it. Obviously, um, it's been, I think it's, it's the fourth now in, in five years um, for us, for myself. Uh, it's always a, a, huge, a huge moment, uh, an incredible achievement um, yeah, to, do it, to do it that way. And obviously, it's more about you know, the togetherness within the team, uh, with the people uh, who are in the stadium today, with our families, our friends. And um, that's, uh, that's what we appreciate the most. Ilkay, two goals and you're a Premier League winner yet again. Congratulations. Thank you so much.